Hello and welcome to SAB in Circuit Talk on the MHC Motif Atlas. I'm Daniel Tadros, a PhD student at David Feller Group of Computational Cancer Biology Lab. And we'll be introducing you to a new database of MHC binding specificities and like. It is based on the recent publication and website developed by our lab. And before starting the talk, I would like to thank Simon, who is the main architect of the website for his contribution in this project. The target audience for this talk are researchers interested in immunology, cancer immunotherapy, vaccine development, and machine learning. First, I would like to introduce you to the main step of the interaction between infected and T cells. The T cell activation is governed by two main steps. The antigen presentation pathway, where the protein gets degraded uh, by the proteasome into peptide, this peptide gets then transported into the ER via TAP, which some of them bind to the MRC molecules, which is the most selective step in this process. And then the peptide MRC complex is presented at the cell surface for TCR recognition. That's why MRC ligands are considered as promising therapeutic targets that have been widely used in preclinical and clinical studies. For instance, in cancer immunotherapy, MRC ligands have been used as personalized vaccine to boost the immune system to recognize neoantigen. In addition, studying the presentation pathway of these ligands help us to better understand the disease and the clinical process required to fight against it. There are two classes of MRC molecules. The MRC class 1 are recognized by CD8 T cell bind short peptides roughly between 8 to 14 residues and the ligands primary anchors are at the second and last positions. And for the class 2, they are recognized by CD4. T cells bind longer and wider range of peptides roughly between 12 and 25 residues. However, the ligands have a fixed binding core of 9 amino acids. In addition to the different characteristics between MRC class 1 and 2, MRC1 and 2 genes show a very high degree of polymorphism, and thousands of different alleles have been documented. However, only a few hundred alleles with available ligands. As a result of this polymorphism, different alleles show different binding specificities and bind different repertoires of ligands. So many researchers capitalize on large MRC datasets to train machine learning tools to predict MRC ligands that could be recognized by T cells. Over the last decade, mass spectrometry-based MRC ligands data have become the dominant source of information about MRC binding specificities. These data enable researchers to determine binding motifs for hundreds of MRC alleles. Here's an example of a binding motif of an allele. This is a list of ligands of same length. We can clearly see the binding specificity of this allele at position 2 and 9. However, MRC ligand prediction tools are often used as black boxes and do not necessarily provide explanation on why a peptide gets a good or a bad score. So to facilitate, facilitate the understanding of the main binding properties of MRC molecules, we present here the MRC Motif Atlas for an intuitive visualization of MRC binding properties and a way to interpret the MRC ligand predictor's results. Here's an example of the binding specificity of an MRC class 1 allele. We provide a binding motif for each peptide length separately. As we can see, there is a high similarity in the binding anchors between different lengths. We also provide the peptide length distribution of the allele, and we can see there is a high preference of peptides of length 9. Also, when it's available, we provide different binding mode of the allele. We can see, for example, the arginine can only be in position 3 or 6, but not in both positions at the same time. And finally, the motive of the phosphorylated ligands when it's available presented in purple. Similarly, for MRC class 2, as previously mentioned, MRC2 alleles bind to long peptide but with fixed binding core of 9 acids. We also provide the peptide length distribution for the allele, and we can see there's a high preference of peptide with length 15. And when it's available, we provide different binding mode for the allele. We can see, for example, the arginine and lysine can only bind in position 4 or 6, but not in both positions at the same time as it's shown in the first motif. 
Here is a summary of what we provide on the MHC Motif Atlas. We collected more than 500 samples from different species that resulted into more than 1 million ligands interacting with a few hundreds of MHC 1 and 2 molecules. We provide thousands of predicted MHC binding motifs based on our MHC motif predictors of class 1 and class 2. We also provide direct links to MHC X-ray structures and list of MHC sequence available in our database. So now let's have a look of the web interface of our motif atlas. Here's the home page for the MRC motif atlas. We have four main pages, the class uh, MRC class one, class two, uh, tools for different predictions and the frequently asked questions page. So let's explore class one. As you can see here, you can explore different binding motifs for different lengths, for example, also for multiple specificities, phosphorylated ligands, and you can download a list of the unmodified ligands or phosphorylated ligands for this specific allele. We, you can also check uh, direct links for the PDB structures for this allele with different ligands. What's also interesting in this page is that you can only compare different alleles at the same time, which is really interesting to uh, in our exploration of the binding specificity for different alleles. And here you can also download all the available data for class one from unmodified to phosphorylated ligands, both of them, MRC sequence and the X-ray structures. Now let's go for class two alleles. Similarly as class one, you can see the multiple specificities. You can you can also compare between different alleles at the same at the same time. But in addition, we provide an extra page for common properties between class two alleles that can help you to better understand the binding specificity for class two alleles. As for the tools page, uh, we provide direct links for different predictors, for example, MRC Langen predictors for class 1 and class 2, image density predictors, MRC motif deconvolution tools, and the, the uh, direct links for the MRC Langen databases. Yes. To have more clarification, you can also check the frequency ask question. With that, I want to conclude this talk by first thanking David for this exciting project and Simon and Julien for all their effort and contribution in this project and you for taking the time to watch this video.